It's your girl Annika here and I'm back again with another video in today's episode of Girl Chat Navigating Your Twenties. I don't really know what I want to talk about. I have a few topics but I also feel like I don't really feel like talking about them. So I'm just going with the flow. I've been kind of in a in a confused space. Like I feel lost. I feel like I'm just on autopilot in a sense like i don't really have a specific destination i feel like i'm just floating in this world it's a weird place to be in because i feel like i have a lot of things that i, I want to do i have a, a lot of things that i am currently doing as well however there's a lot of things that are going on in in life in general and in my life personally too that just has me like what the f what in the world is actually going on like what is this it just has me in a state of like i don't really know what's going on i don't know how to deal with it and i'm just here it's a bit hard for me to like be honest and open about it especially on youtube it's usually something that i write in my journal or that i just like deal with internally and not speak about it but i feel like it's something that i could share initially i was going to redo an episode of girl chat which is episode three on relationships but i don't want to do that i want to talk about something else for episode three so i'm just gonna be real and just you know talk and let you guys know what i'm actually feeling right now i feel extremely burnt out creatively i'm i think i'm i'm pretty like okay fine creatively but I feel like I could be better. Career-wise, child, I don't even know. I don't even know what it is I really want to do. And that's just like honest. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to become. All I know is I don't want to be in the same space in the next three to five years you know i want to be somewhere else and i love having control over my life and we talked about that in episode four which is about anxiety and childhood trauma but i love to be in control of my life and when i feel like i'm not in control of my life i tend to spiral and have like mental breakdowns it's kind of hard to like be honest about things like that because we're always expected to have things figured out and have a career path mapped out for us and to follow it but to be honest a lot of the things that i wanted to do when i was growing up i don't want to do now if it was up to me i would just be a creative and an artist and just focus on my art and live my life that way it's hard though because sometimes your passions are the things that just have you sad and depressed and down you know i am a multifaceted and multi-hyphenate creative I have my hands on a lot of things and sometimes it can be overwhelming but on the flip side I wouldn't have it any other way because I just love being passionate about what I'm passionate about you know I think it's also because I just can't stay focused like I have a hard time like fo focusing on one thing so I just have my hand in a lot of different things and planting seeds here and there to see like which one is going to sprout quicker than the other <laughs> you know and sometimes it could be overwhelming but i am in a in a state of confusion right now confusion in the sense of my mind is just in a mess there's a lot of moving parts that are going in different directions in my life and it's just hard for me to find common ground and find balance and figure out what the hell is actually going on or what the hell am i actually supposed to be doing what is my purpose um do i even have a purpose do i even have a message to, to share with people you know like those are just some of the things that i ask myself sometimes like do i even have a message to send or to share but then it's like if you didn't have a message to share then you wouldn't be sharing parts of your life and bits and pieces and everybody knows like i'm a very private person i will not talk about the innermost private parts of my life i will never like come out and just talk about it but i feel like sometimes i have to because other people may relate to it and i could reach people in a different way i feel like sometimes you just haven't figured out exactly what you want to do and i don't think we should be expected to have a timeline on on when we should have things figured out you know i also did an episode on timelines as well that is episode five so we're gonna talk more about that in episode five so episode four and five are like really a follow-up of this little confused state that i'm in and i feel like a lot of us really Really are just like, figuring it out and not really knowing where life is taking us right now not only in our personal lives but there are a lot of things going on outside that 
we have no control over sometimes like we feel like we have no control over and the fact that we have so much going on in our lives is like we don't have the energy to extend to external forces and external things that are happening in, in the world but yeah overall i'm just tired i'm tired of having to wake up and this is this is me just being honest because sometimes my mind my mind my opinions change from time to time but i'm tired of waking up every day and having to figure out what to eat what to wear where to go going to work creating content or doing x y and z like i'm just tired of having to do all of that <laughs> sometimes i think about what life would be like if we didn't have all of these things to do because in all honesty and a serious question like who are we proving all of these things to like we get all of these things we do all of these things but what is the higher reason like what is the higher purpose what is the main reason you know and i also have an answer to that question the, the answer to that question is the way society is structured is to keep us in a box is to keep us in check because if we don't follow these rules if we don't get our degrees we don't get a job we don't get an education blah, 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 we're gonna fall apart eventually well some people because people live off grid <laughs> and they don't really mess with what we got going on life is so damn hard and don't have to be hard every day you just you just get up and it's like whoa i gotta be doing this for how, how long like i gotta be waking up how many more times to be doing what for what and it's not every day that you're gonna feel like waking up either like going to school going to work doing your passion sometimes you just want to be in bed but then it's like you get penalized you get punished you get criticized for wanting to be by yourself for wanting to stay in bed for wanting to take a day off for wanting to go on a vacation for wanting to use your own money to do whatever the hell you want like it's a sometimes it's a lose lose situation and then you just have to not care because if it's one thing that it's one thing i've learned about working for other people and just growing up really is to not care and is to keep in the back of your mind that you're always going to disappoint somebody at the end of the day you can't fully please a human being because if it was up to us we would control and pick up and choose what we want to have our way but you can't fully control what a person thinks of you or what a person says no, you're always going to disappoint people because people are people they don't even we don't even understand what we go through what we go through we don't even fully understand or grasp why we feel the way that we do because our feelings and emotions and opinions fluctuate every day because we're not like <laughs> stable people and if you think that you're a stable person then i have something i have some news for you you're not nobody's stable i'm, I'm sorry because in the world that we are in right now nobody is stable we are all unhinged we are all um going through it mentally and hmm, yeah so i guess i just wanted to vent in this episode because you know when you're in a state of confusion is you don't really know what's going on you just hear you just analyzing you're just observing and you, you know well, it is what it is and that's where I'm at. I um when I was like I think it was a couple weeks ago, I was like creating content constantly, editing, editing and pushing out these videos and thing and then the following week I was burnt out. Like I was so tired. I didn't want to eat, I didn't want to get up, I didn't want to create con I didn't even want to see content. I didn't even want to edit. I was like, how are people doing this full time? Like I can't do this full time. I feel like I can't do this full time because it's just a lot. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And I used to do YouTube like a couple years ago. Seven years ago, maybe? Is it seven years old? I don't know. But I used to do YouTube a long time ago. And it was hard too because at the time I didn't have all that I have now. Like, I am so blessed. <laughs> it just dawned on me how blessed I am. Because all of the things that I have now, I I prayed like to have all of these um all of this equipment and technology and like but this is i think that's all for my little venting session um i feel like we all need that sometimes and maybe you could like relate to some of the things that i've vented about but yeah 
I didn't want to post episode three of Girl Chat. I'm talking about relationships, honestly. Main reason, because I have a new setup and I didn't like how the setup was. So I was like, mm, I need to scrap this video and do it all over again. So that that video will probably come another time, but just not now. Maybe it's for the best too, because maybe I have more to add, like different views and things, you know? So I'm not really tripping about that. And yeah, I look really, really rough. I look, I need to do something with my hair. I washed my hair recently. I treated it. I have some like heat damage in the back. Yeah, because the back of my hair is like the most thin in a sense. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, what did you guys take away from this video? What did you resonate with? What can you add to the topic? Like, let me know um, if there's anything in your life right now that you're like confused about. Also to note, I will always be premiering my videos simply because i just love um the anticipation of something that you guys would want to watch and interacting with you in the chat right before the video goes live we can interact in the chat and as the video is going on you and i could interact in the chat and talk about the video and you know like just you know just have a nice little interaction so whenever i'm going live i will let you guys know on my social so that you can interact with me in this chat and yeah i hope you guys are doing well be blessed and take it one day at a time and i'll see you in the next one peace why do i look crazy why is one eye oh my god this eye sleepy this eye big and then this eye on that side and this eye oh my god what is going on with me And my hair is not cooperating. <laughs> I need to go by. I need to go by the salon because this is just not. I don't know what's going on. I want a wig. I need a wig. I want to see why people just wear wigs. I need a wig. Cause this is just not cutting it for me. Unfortunately, I love my hair, but I think me locking my hair will be something that I do sooner than later because uh, this is just not working out. Bye. I just finished tussling with my hair. Me and my hair was fighting because I really don't know what, like my roots are not even combed out. <sighs> I'm still like navigating how to um, style my hair. I don't know how to style my hair. I don't know how to comb my hair. It's so ghetto. You know what? Why? I don't even know what the f I want to talk about. And I can't put this makeup to waste. I don't say that I'm going to record something. What am I going to talk about?